this in the night. You are being tormented by evil dreams. There is a God who gives his people rest. Tell him to give you rest in your emotions, in your mind. Some of you are going through the battle of the mind. You are struggling with evil thoughts. You are struggling with evil meditations. You are trying to think well, but your thoughts have been hijacked. There is a God who gives his people rest. My father, my father, give me rest. Any burden I'm carrying, ancestral burdens, generational burdens, burdens in your family, burdens in where you live, burdens in your foundation, burdens in your heavens. There is a God who gives his people rest. Ask him for rest today. Continue, continue. Let the Lord give you rest uh, as you end the month of November. All the burdens you are carrying this month, uh, you will not cross over with them uh, to the month of December. They will not spill over to 2024. There is a God who is willing, who is ready, who is available, whose power is there for you to give you rest. Pray that prayer. Some of you, you are the one that carries all the burdens in the family. You carry the burdens of your sisters and your brothers. You carry the burdens of hospital bills. You carry the burdens of school fees. Because everybody else is poor. And you are the only one who has financial ability. There is a God who gives rest. He is able to employ. He is able to lift up. He is able to open doors for them. So that they can be stable. And you can find rest in your soul. Rest in your finances. My father... My father, give me rest in the name of Jesus. Some of you, your life is full of noise. Your life is full of chaos. Your life is full of disaster. Your life is full of conflict. Your life is full of arguments. Your life is full of strife. There is no day that you finish without quarreling with people, without strifing with your loved ones. There is a God who can end that strife. There is a God who can give give you rest. There is a God who can offload your burdens. There is a God who can bring peace to your soul. My father, my father, give me rest, oh God. Give me rest, my father. Give me rest, my redeemer. You are praying that prayer. You will not enter December without evil yokes, with those evil burdens, with those evil chains, with those evil limitations. The Lord is ready. He is available. He is willing today to give you rest in your soul. Continue. That sickness that is taking your money every day, that is denying you peace, I see the hand of the Lord ready to touch you now, ready to heal you now, ready to remove that burden now, that God is going to give you rest for your soul in the name of Jesus. Every tormenting spirit, it is leaving you today. Any oppressing spirit, it is leaving you today. Any afflicting spirit, it is leaving you today. Any destructive spirit, it is leaving you today. The Lord, my God, is willing and ready to give you rest. To give you rest. Those deaths that have been following you and Shylocks are on your door. You are almost being auctioned because you are not able to pay. I decree and declare today, the God who gives rest will open a way. You shall clear them. You shall pay them. They shall be removed from your life. There is a God who gives his people rest. Open up your mouth and pray. My father, my father, give me rest for my soul. Rest for my spirit. Rest for my health. Rest for my marriage. Rest in my family. I see families that are full of strife, that are full of arguments, that are full of conflict, that are full of disagreements. There is a God who can enter and bring rest and bring solution and end the strife of the people. My father, my father, give me rest for my soul. You will not finish with that burden. You will not finish with that pain. You will not finish with that thorn. You will not finish with that issue. You will not finish with that spirit. You will not finish with that shame. You will not finish with that 
thing that has been burdening you the Lord my God is willing and ready to give you rest for your soul surrender to him now surrender that battle tell him father have your way today have your way today have your way today have your way today my shadow I see people who are about to lose you are worried because there is something valuable you are almost losing there is the Lord who is able to give you rest and to preserve it in your destiny my father my father give us rest today bring forth rest today give us rest today bring forth rest in our lives in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah Isaiah chapter number 3 verse 10 there is a God who's giving people rest. I tell you, your prayers will not be tears again. Your prayers will not be prayers of murmuring and complaining again. You will not wake up in the middle of the night because you have lost sleep of an issue. The Lord your God is going to give you rest in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter number 3 verse 10. It says, Say to the righteous, that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, it is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with your children. It is well with your house. It is well with your destiny. It is well with your health. It is well with your December. Some of you are worried what will happen in December. The Lord says to the righteous, it is well with you. Lift up your hands and begin to prophesy to your own destiny and begin to declare it is well with your destiny. It is well with your business it is well with your marriage it is well with your children it is well with your career it is well with your destiny it is well with your health it is well with your December it is well with you you will not cry tears of pain you will not cry tears of losses you will not cry tears of death you will not cry tears of of mockery you will not cry tears of sickness you will not cry tears of auctioneers you will not cry tears of frustration you will not cry tears of backwardness you will not cry tears of destruction tell the righteous he shall be well he shall be well he shall be well begin to prophesy that issue that looks like it is failing that shame that is looking at you straight on the face the Lord says it is well it is well it is well it is well prophesy to that child of yours prophesy to that business of yours prophesy to those finances prophesy to that expectation it is well it is well it is well that sick relative that you are worried you may bury them tell the righteous it is well the Lord who delivers the Lord who heals, the Lord who makes a way, the Lord who comforts, the Lord who turns back the battle to the gates of the enemy will arise and bring wellness, will arise and bring peace, will arise and bring victory, will arise and change the situation. It is well in the name of Jesus. I want you to put your hand on your heart. And I want you to become the prophet of your life right now. And begin to speak to your heart and tell it it is well. I know you are going through issues. You wouldn't be here if everything was okay. You wouldn't have closed down your business today if all was well. You wouldn't be in the house of the Lord if you didn't have a cry. But begin to speak to yourself and begin to call yourself. I command myself, Eric, it is well with me. It is well with me. Call your name and declare it is well with you. It is well, it is well. Fear not, it is well. Worry not, it is well. Fear not, it is well. The Lord will make all things beautiful. The Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way. The Lord will open a door where 
our doors are shut. The Lord will scatter all the enemies that are standing before you. It is well. The Lord will bring the healing. The Lord will bring restoration. The Lord will bring the light in that darkness. It is well. It is well. Prophesy to yourself. It is well in the name of Jesus. Them that are waiting for your downfall, they shall be ashamed when they see the hand of the Lord bringing glory and honor, bringing beauty and perfection, bringing promotion and elevation to your life prophesy to yourself it is well it is well that money you need the Lord who owns all silver and gold he shall provide in the name of Jesus in the middle of that darkness the Lord shall be your light in the middle of that battle the Lord shall be your rear guard in the middle of that strife the Lord will end it in the name of Jesus tell the righteous it is well 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 in Jesus mighty name we do pray final prayer Isaiah chapter number 60 verse number 1 there is nothing beautiful like praying with the word tell your neighbor know the word and you will see the hand of God that is why we are insisting to people buy a Bible when you enter in prayer, speak to God what he spoke. Repeat to God what he said. Go and tell God, you said this, I have come to bring your word back to you. And when you pray with the word of God, I tell you the truth. God cannot deny his word. Am I talking to somebody? Isaiah chapter number 60, verse number 1. If you are there, say amen. The Bible says, arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says darkness will cover the earth. Deep darkness the people. But for you there shall be light in Jesus name. When others are saying there is no money. Your song will be I have more than enough. When others are borrowing for survival. You will have more than enough to lend to nations. Am I talking to somebody? When others are crying the tears of loss. You will be crying the tears of joy. Declaring the Lord has multiplied me. For the light of God is shining upon you. Lift up your hands December let there be light where there is darkness where there is confusion where there seems to be no direction Lord in the month of December bring light bring light bring light bring light where you see like nothing is going to happen some of you you are almost giving up on that vision some of you you are almost burying that idea some of you you are almost throwing away your hands and you are telling God it cannot happen the God of the 11th hour he is about to bring light he is about to bring light the Bible says arise and shine. Begin to arise out of that mediocrity. Begin to arise out of that poverty. Begin to arise out of that shame. Begin to arise out of that sickness. Begin to arise out of that confusion. Begin to arise out of that pity party. Begin to arise out of that limitation. Arise and shine in the month of December. Arise and shine in the month of December. Can somebody begin to arise? Begin to speak to yourself. Your bank account is rising. Your business is rising. Your prayer altar is rising. Your vision is rising. Your career is rising. Your standard of life is rising. Your health is rising. Your encouragement is rising. The Lord of light has shone light in your way. You will not remain in darkness. You will not die in darkness. You will not stay in that confusion. My God my father make light right now bring light right now 
and the Lord said, let there be light, let there be light in that dying business, let there be light in that dying marriage, let there be light in that broken health, let there be light in those wayward children, let there be light in that faulty foundation, let there be light in the middle of those deaths, let there be light. Arabakato sete, embakata la ba 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 ba, erabakati amaradea. You will not sing the song of failure. You will not sing the song of dryness. You will not sing the song of limitation. You will not sing the song of defeat. You will not sing the song of mediocrity. Arise and shine. The power of God is on you now. The hand of the Lord is on you now. The lifting power of God most high is on you now. Speak to the dry bones. Prophesy. Son of man. Prophesy. Son of man. Prophesy. In the middle of that place of hopelessness, of no helpers, arise and shine. You are helpers. Come. Arise and shine. You are helpers. Come. Arise and shine. You are helpers. Come. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. No more darkness. No more confusion. No more worry. No more anxiety. Where you are worried, the Lord has brought light. Where you are stranded, the Lord has brought help. Where you are confused, the Lord has brought direction. Where you are limited, the Lord has removed the boundaries. If you believe it, shout a big game. Eh? Shout a big game. Eh? Glory be to God. Greet your neighbor and tell them, receive light. Receive hope. Receive light. Receive hope. Fear not. Cry not again. Worry not again. The Lord of light has appeared to you in Jesus' name. You may be seated, but never go down. Hallelujah. God is good. Know the time. And that is his nature. Hallelujah. I want to continue with the someone that Bishop Dr. Jane started yesterday night. And she began to speak about stop them before they stop you. Tell your neighbor stop them before they stop you. Tell the other neighbor the devil is too small to stop you. The devil is too small. Tell the one behind you you have more power than the devil. Because you carry God in you. Am I talking to somebody? You are not a candidate of failure. You are not a candidate of shame. You are not a candidate of retrogression. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Am I talking to somebody? You cannot be stopped. You cannot be limited. You are like a bulldozer. When you are kubomoa na kupita nayo. Am I talking to somebody? When you are kubomoa na kupita nayo. I don't know kama nyi milikuwa na FFU. Fanya fujo, uone. Ukileta fujo, tunapita na we. Now in the spirit you are a giant. Am I talking to a church today? In the spirit you are a giant. Gideon was in a cave. But when God appeared to him through an angel, he never described him with his situation. He said, oh Gideon, mighty man of valor. Tell your neighbor you are a mighty man of valor. And the moment you begin to understand who you are and what you carry, you will turn to that situation and you will command it with holy anger and it will leave you in the name of Jesus. Today, we are stopping them before they stop us. We are fighting them before they fight us. We are frustrating them before they frustrate us. We are stopping them before they stop us. Ah, am I talking to somebody? Can we begin the sermon? I want to take 25 minutes, maximum 30 because I know mengi a Christmas mood. Na wakati wa Christmas, watu wa atakangi kelele sana, Mrs. Kiyama. Praise the name of God. Now, 
The title is stop them before they stop you. Hear me now. When God looks at you, he does not judge you or he does not relate with you based on your situation. God relates with you based on your revelation. In fact, God is not in the realm of circumstances. God does not dwell in the dimension of circumstances. Because if God dwelt in the dimension of circumstances, then the people in hospital would all have miracles right now. If God dwelt in the realm of needs, then the people who live in the slums would have God every day. God is not in the level of circumstances. He is not even in the level of your needs. God is not in the level of your problems. The Bible says his ways are not our ways. Neither are his thoughts our thoughts. It says his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So the moment you begin to agree with your problems, and you begin to agree with your issue, and you begin to come and to pity party in that situation, then you lose God. Can I go deeper? This then explains that the poor will remain poor, and the rich will keep getting rich. Huh? The poor will remain, and the rich will keep getting, because the rich have a certain mindset. They have discovered a certain realm of God, and they relate with God from that realm, and God keeps pouring on them daily. While the poor keep identifying with their problems, with their issues, with their needs, and they keep remaining poorer and poorer and poorer. Tell your neighbor, God is not in the dimension of needs. Mungu hakaangi viwango za mashida. Am I talking to somebody? That is why in Luke chapter 4 verse 18, the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. Can I get that scripture if it is possible? The poor do not need money. The poor need a revelation. They need good news. That is why if you give a poor man money right now, after a short while, they will have lost it because they don't have the capacity within them to handle that dimension of abundance. So God does not relate with you based on your needs. In fact, can I say this? I hope I'm tani piga na mai. You being poor is your responsibility. And you being rich is also your responsibility. God is not responsible for your prosperity. Neither is he responsible for your poverty. You are responsible because you are the one to rise to the dimension of God. Am I talking to somebody? God does not lower his standards. He remains God. The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is merciful. He feels merciful for you. But it doesn't end there. You have to pursue certain things and enter into the mind of God. So that utoke kwa hiyo shida. Because so many of us here, we have been born again. Some of us 10 years. Some of us 20 years. Some of us, we have a record of fastings. We know the prayer mountains. We seek God. But we still remain in the same level. We still sing the same song. Because we are waiting for God to come to our level. When God is waiting for you to rise to that dimension. Lift up your hands. Begin to tell God, pull me to your level. Bring me to your level. Lift me to your level. I don't want to remain low. Bring me to your level. Open my mind that I may rise to that level. Lift me, O oh God, to another level in the name of Jesus. When you rise to the level of God, then God begins to relate with you. And whatever he has, he transfers to you. Receive the level of God right now in Jesus' name. Am I talking to somebody? And so God, these are just introductions, will relate with you based on your belief. And be a jirani based on your belief. So what you believe in your heart will form the events of your life. You are a product of your beliefs. Am I talking to somebody? 
in the morning i woke up and i wasn't feeling so well nilikuwa nasikia kahoma kanakuja kanajaribu kuniingia kanajaribu kuniweka chini i started even doing this naona ile unajaribu ku kukunja but then god reminded me isaiah 53 verse 5 by his stripes you are healed am i talking to somebody so i entered the shower and all the while i was showering by his stripes i am healed by his stripes i am healed while i was driving coming to church by his stripes i am healed it wasn't getting better i went and bought that thing we called dawa i drank pastor susan is my witness but while i was drinking i was telling god by his stripes i am healed when we sat here and lois was doing the announcements my body was weak i was looking for water i drank that water i was saying by his stripes i am healed when i stood there i got healed praise the name of god right now my body has strength because god will relate with you based on your belief so what you believe concerning life will form the events of your destiny am i talking to somebody the centurion servant say don't come speak our word he believed because he had been in a place where he commanded he tells this one go and they go he tells this one come and they come so he told him master there is no need for you to travel all the way speak our word they believe in him the bible says when he returned home at 3 pm he found the centurion healed am i talking to somebody build your belief bwana asifiwe jenga kuamini kwako and that is why today we want to build a belief around the authority you carry so that you know the devil is no match for you the devil is not even powerful the devil is not afraid of people who have money he is afraid of people who know the truth ha huh? The devil is not afraid of rich people. He is afraid of people who know the truth. Do you know in the camp of the devil there are billionaires? They are multi-billionaires. Si wako na wengi wako Illuminati na wengine ndio ma devil worshipper na wengine ndio wenye manyumba makubwa na makampuni but they are all agents of the devil and the devil has allowed them to have money. He is not afraid of them. But wait until somebody in the kingdom of darkness receives a new belief and they get light in them that is the moment the devil begins to fight them so when you build a belief inside of you and you encourage yourself in that belief and you stand in that belief even if things are not happening remain in that belief shortly shortly your light will break forth and so today i want to just bring a few scriptures so that you understand where you are who you are and then we stop those things that have been fighting you and you go home victorious and you enter december with a new song are you ready for that genesis chapter 27 verse number 40 genesis chapter number 27 verse number 40 genesis 27 verse number 40 if i can get it it can be so good in the name of jesus genesis 27 verse number 40 these were the words that isaac spoke to his son Esau he spoke to him very heavy words he spoke to him very mysterious words genesis chapter number 27 verse number 40 if it's not available i think i can read it from my bible genesis 27:40 ukifika pale sema amen this is what the bible says let us begin from 39 if it's possible genesis 27 that verse 39 then isaac his father answered and said to him Behold your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above by your sword you shall live and you shall serve your brother and it shall come to pass when you become restless that you shall break his yoke from your neck Isaac akaambia kijana wake first one ambaye anaitwa Esau akamwambia kukaa kwako will be in the fatness of the earth in the place of plenty and it shall be in the dew of heaven meaning there will be no dryness but then he says something in verse 40 by the sword you shall live and then you shall serve your brother but the day you grow weary of his yoke you shall destroy it from your neck angalia verse 39 follow me well that inaina naambiwa utajiri iko ndio hii utele iko ndio hii 
wingi upo ndio huu lakini kuna nila imekukalia am i talking to somebody baraka ziko ndio hizi ndoa iko ndio hii magari hapo ndio haya lakini bado unatembea miguu you are still single you are still begging and borrowing you shall dwell in the fatness but there is a yoke the blessing you can see it but you cannot enjoy it because there is a yoke there is overflow there is available money you can access the money but before you reach to it there is a yoke and so he tells him you shall live by the sword and you shall serve your brother but the day you grow weary of that yoke kapo saripa ladre katoza da you shall break it from your neck tell your neighbor prosperity is your responsibility and poverty is your own liking am i talking to somebody so there is abundance but there is a yoke so akambiwa jikakamue sao ufanye nini uvunje hiyo nila na leo tunavunja hiyo nila whatever has been stopping you we are going to use the weapon of our words we are going to use the weapon of the anointing we are going to make a decree in the name of jesus and we will break and destroy those yokes and we will access our fatness and our abundance can we enter into some scriptures scripture number 1 matthew chapter number 16 verse 18 matthew 16 verse number 18 then if you can work with me i will be happy in the name of jesus matthew chapter number 16 verse number 18 <clears throat> matthew chapter 16 verse 18 amen reverend you can also have them ready matthew chapter number 16 verse number 18 there is an authority that god has put in your life there is an authority that god has put in your destiny all right let me just check it from my bible <coughs> in the name of jesus matthew chapter number 16 verse number 18 if you are there say amen i also say to you that you are peter and on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it 19 and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven ameambiwa peter na yesu nimekupatia nguvu na mamlaka kile utafunga duniani na hata binguni kitafungwa kile utafungulisha hapa duniani na hata binguni kitafungulishwa one day bishop was going i believe it was a barrio and it was a barrio of a man of god so walikuwa mapasta wengi sana and so as they were going unajua there are many kinds of pastors so they had one pastor among them mwenye <laughs> kidogo it is well bwana asifiwe so wakafika mahali where there is a black spot a lot of accidents happen there and this pastor gari yake ilikuwa mbele sana so akasema msafara isimame gari ziekwe kando akatoka kwa lile gari akaenda mahali hiyo black spot ilipo na akasema kutoka leo na akatukana na maneno siwezi ongea hapa akatukana zile ma, mapepo na maroza black spot pale na akaongea maneno siwezi tamka hapa akasema kutoka leo hizo vitu hizo vitu hakutaonekana ajali tena to date hakujawa ionekana tena if somebody who is not okay mwenye tunaweza sema hayuko sawa kiroho anaweza simama na atuka nane na atangaze kitu na aseme hapa hakutakufiwa kitu tena hakutakuwa na ajali tena na kuwe hivyo what about you who is a follower of righteousness you are a carrier of power and authority tell your neighbor you have power you have authority am i talking to somebody so wacha kuambia mungu nimekuachia yote that is laziness stand up and fight Unaambia Mungu nimekuachia yote na nimelala. Utateswa na mapepo usiku. Zitakuinua, zikushukishe, zikufunue, zikufunike, zikupake vitu, zikuharibu. Because you are telling God I've left all to you. God does not <laughs> When God has given you authority, use it. Bwana asifiwe. Ni kama upatiwe hiyo simu nikwambie chukua utumiange and then unanirudishia unaniambia shika ukuo unatumia kwa niaba yangu. It doesn't make sense. Use your tell your neighbor use your authority. 
Am I talking to somebody? Am I opening somebody's eyes? So begin to know that you are victory. You are open doors. You are conquering that battle. It is your own personal responsibility. Can we go to the second scripture? Matthew 18, 18. The same Matthew. We jump to verse 18. Chapter 18, verse number 18. Matthew chapter 18, verse number 18. Matthew 18, 18. So that we stop them before they stop you. Amen. Matthew chapter 18 and verses 18. Yes, Reverend. Assuredly, I say to you, mm -hmm. whatever you bind, uh, whatever, whatever you bind on earth uh -huh. will be bound in heaven. Uh -huh. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Uh -huh. Verses 19. Yes. Again, I say to you uh -huh. that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything mm -hmm. that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Amen. Verses 20. Mm -hmm. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, Amen. I am in the midst Thank of them. Thank you so much. The Bible says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And then it says, where two shall agree concerning a thing. Leo to not agree. Today we are agreeing. Whatever has been stopping us, we are stopping it. One as if you were. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. You have the power to bind. You have the power to lose. Today you can stand up and say, in my family, no more cancer. In my family, no more diabetes. In my family, no more HIV. No more premature death. When you say it with belief and revelation, I tell you the truth, the demons will advise themselves and go. Am I talking to somebody? Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Just want to build your authority and your revelation. Luke Amen. chapter Luke. number 10 verse number 19. Luke, Luke chapter 10. number 10 and verses 13. 19, 19. And verses 19. Yes. It says, Behold, I give you the authority mm -hmm. to trample on serpents and scorpions mm -hmm. and over all the power of the enemy. Oh, yes. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And it says, nothing by any means shall hurt you. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? So you can wake up and say enough is enough with witchcraft in our family. Today, I come to crush the head of witchcraft and it will go. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mtu na jenga imani yake siku ya leo. Kuna mtu na fungua akili yake siku ya leo. I'm just trying to show you the authority you carry. Jeremiah chapter number 1 verse number 10. Jeremiah chapter number 1 verse 10. Amen. Jeremiah chapter number 1. Verse number 10. I give you authority to tear down, to pull down, to cast Jerem out. Uh, Jeremiah chapter number 1 and verses 10. Yes. See, I have this day set you over the nations mm -hmm. and over the kingdoms oh, yes. to root out and to pull down. To root to, out and to pull down. To destroy and to throw down. To destroy and to throw down. To build and to plant. To build and to plant. plant. The Lord has set you over your family. To root out and to pull down. To destroy and to cut down. And then to build and to plant. You can go this Christmas in your family and you stand with authority before your sisters and brothers and uncles. Now, wambie, izo kaburi zimetosha. Hatuta zika mtu mwingine. And because you carry authority in you, it shall be done by your father in heaven. You can go and tell your sister who is 49 years old and she's not married. Begin to tell her, prepare yourself, madam. Next year we are coming for dowry and we are officiating a wedding. Why? Because you carry power and authority. Read verse 19, the same Jeremiah. Hallelujah. They will fight against you. They will fight against but you. But they shall not prevail against but you. But they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. There will be resistance. There will be opposition. There will be war. But the Lord says they will fight, but they shall not be able to overcome you. I came to declare to you today, whatever has been an enemy, has been a thorn, has been an evil altar, has been fighting you, it shall not be able to overcome you in the name of they will fight against you. So war will be there. 
Battles will be there. Resistance will be there. Interruption will be there. Oppositions will be there. Evil dreams will try to come. Discouragement will appear. But the Bible says as long as you know yourself, as they fight against you, they shall not be able to withstand you. In the name of Jesus. I am stirring up your faith. So that uangalia ako kashida kame kusumbua miyaka mingi. Kame fanya hii November haujacheka. Ukashike na mikono yako hivi. Ukaambie from today. From today. Nedago kani ya deine ware tuarea jesu. I rebuke you. Na itaondoka na itaenda katika jina la yesu. But ukika pale. Unasema nangojea mungu. Oh Jesus said it is finished. Now work out your salvation. With fear and trembling. Isaiah 54, 14. Isaiah 54, verse 14. Amen. Isaiah chapter 54. Verse number 14. Uh, okay, I'm there. It says, uh, In righteousness you shall be established. In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. You shall be far from oppression. For you shall not fear. For you shall not fear. And from terror. And from terror. For it shall not come near you. Verse 15. Indeed, they shall surely assemble. Indeed, they shall surely watakusanyika. Ambia jirani watakusanyika. Watakusanyika. Whoever told you salvation is a life free of battle, lie to you. Ukiokoka vita ni mi, ni mingi. The Bible says, indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not by me. Continue. But not because of me. Uh -huh. Whoever assembles against you mm -hmm. shall fall for your sin. Whoever asse I came to declare to you today. Amen. Whoever assembles against you, Amen. they shall fall. They shall fall. Amen. They shall fall. Amen. They shall fall in the name of Jesus. 